How hardcore are we, really? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And welcome to International Man of Stunts, Pranks and Mayhem. It's Steve-O. <laughs> hey, man. Welcome to the show. Yeah, yeah, man. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was going to get one of the crossovers. Yeah, dude. Now, sweet. I, in particular, am a big fan of what you do. Thank you, man. Me in, too. In particular. <laughs> yeah. I... I love me, dude. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you guys have a thing going. I respect what you do. <laughs> Thank you. But... I kind of have a hard time. He can't watch it. He can't keep, watch it. Like watching. Ah, uh, so you're a, you're a wuss. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That would be the, the clinical it's, definition. It's, more, it's like, is it a wuss when it's like it starts down here, and yeah. then you just can't, and then it's like this, and there's lots of yeah, this. That's all wuss behavior yeah. right there. Yes, <laughs> I, think, I think you really nailed it. A lot of respect, though. A lot of respect. Well, okay. Thank you. Now, so you've done a lot of what. Some people might call dumb things, yeah. right? Yeah. I call them beautiful. Okay, good. I think that we've done a lot of dumb things, beautiful things yeah. as well, you know, on this very show. So we were thinking, among the three of us, we want to find out who has done the truly dumbest things. And, you know, I, I think we should make a game out of this. I, I, How about that? <laughs> I, I, I'm ready to gamify our stupidity. <laughs> Love it. It's time for, have we done stupid stuff? Um, yeah, for sure. But can we out-stupid the king, the legend, Steve-O? Welcome to the look how dumb we are zone. Oh, that's creative. <laughs> All right, the mythical crew has scoured our collective past. They've selected a series of especially dumb things that we've all done, and they've turned those dumb things into these playing cards. Now, we don't know what's on here. We just know that there's some dumb stuff that we've done. Mm -hmm. In fact, look. Look how real this is. Look, we're shuffling them. Ooh. We're shuffling oh, we, them. So we don't, because we we're don't, not, we, we don't, don't get to choose these. We're going right. to play this like we're playing a game of war. Right, right, right. So right, whatever's right. on top, we have to turn over. I, I don't, do you know what your cards are? I, I have do no not idea. know what our cards are. Okay. I don't know where you're going to find anything dumb I did. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, it was tough. It was tough. <laughs> so we're each going to throw down the top card in our deck, and then we're going to make an argument for why the thing that we did is the dumbest of the three. Whoever we all agree on, gentlemen's rules, uh, takes all of the cards for that round. In the end, whoever has the most cards wins a royal flush crown. Oh, I'm wow. excited about that. Yeah. We ready? Who's going first? We're going round robin this thing. You want to go first? Sure. But right. I'm just going to pull it out and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just slam it down. Okay. I uh, once drank a pint of vinegar, which turns out can kill you. Wow. Yeah. A pint's a lot. A pint is a lot. Um, and well, but you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to make my case yet, right? Until we see all the cards, right? Like, so I'm just gonna say, I did a dumb thing. I drank a pint of vinegar. Let's see what. What I, is it right. about the vinegar that's dangerous? Is it salt? Because I know that you can die drinking uh, soy sauce. <laughs> I think it might be. <laughs> you do a, know that. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a similar thing. I don't know. Your body is just like we don't need this much vinegar. Right. And so we're going to kill you now. <laughs> so, 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 so you don't do this again. <laughs> okay. That's how it works. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's how your body works. All right, let's First see, card, let's you don't get to decide. You oh, just... well, how about this? We're on some food stuff. Hot sauce, sauce in the eye. Directly into the eye. You've yeah. done this a number of times. Yeah. What, what was the context? Do, do you do some of this stuff just for yourself? It's not... I mean, I only do stuff if I'm being filmed. I'm just a normal oh, person. right, yeah. I'm not a thrill seeker or uh, an adrenaline junkie. I'm just an attention whore. <laughs> that's that's hey. all there is to it. Hey, welcome to my club. <laughs> yeah, that's all there is to it. No camera, no party. <laughs> How did you choose which eye? Ah, uh, that's a good point. I think it's uh, it's kind of whichever eye favors the camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, let, let's see what I got. Okay, this is a classic cat poop water. Wow. Uh, if I remember this correctly, I drank, um, yeah, I drank water that was, um, it just had- Steeped. It was steeped in cat crap. Right. We, we were testing the life straw, which was supposed to filter, filter yeah. any type it was of- safe. And, and ah. um, yeah, we, we were drinking each other's urine. That's, the, that's probably in here. Through the well. straw. 
But then I got confused when we were supposed to drink the cat poop. You put a thing that had been in the cat poop in your own mouth. That's, yeah. I, I don't know how it happened. It wasn't that intentional, was so it was like doubly dumb. But here's the thing, if, if we're deciding who did the dumbest thing and the standard by which we judge that is, if it was unintentional, it's stupider, you're gonna win every round. <laughs> so that cannot be Wait, the it case. It was stupid to drink cat poop, <laughs> but it was stupider to not use the filter. So I gotta, I gotta play my card as it lays. I'm, you know, obviously I'm trying to make a case for mine. I, I think you can Yo, literally, really? you, you, you can, you could die from this, right? You're not gonna die from this. Now you might get toxoplasmosis from this. But it's just people this, drink vinegar all the time. Yeah, but not a in that quantity. A pint of vinegar. And to be fair, I've poured hot sauce in my eyes so many times over the last 20 years, it's just ridiculous. And my eyes are fine. I'm inclined to give this one to you. Oh. What, hold on. Hey, 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 two out of three. I mean, it doesn't, you don't even need to vote anymore. What, what? I'm gonna take all the. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, yeah. I'm taking, what? pint of vinegar. I First mean, round goes to me. Life-threatening. That's gotta be the top criteria. Okay. Should we Google it though? Real Cat poop will <laughs> kill you, dude. Uh, yeah, hey, hey, yeah. we're, we're in the second round. Play your first card. <laughs> no, you go. You go first. Okay, okay, here we go. What do we got? Okay, I put a black widow spider in my mouth, oh, <laughs> and it was very much alive. It was very much alive. That is correct. Did you kill it with your mouth? Nope. But I was furious at my tour manager who uh, failed to properly capture the footage of it exiting my mouth. Oh. So uh, yeah, that got relegated to the second channel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you talk about- This is the second channel. Right. <laughs> <laughs> talk about deadly. Did you feel it crawling around? Um, I, I did. And did she bite you in there? I, I, I do not think I was bitten in there. All right, let me think. What do you got, Link? I, 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 uh, oh, baby birding jellyfish. This involved you, but I, this is just about me right now. But this is when I ate the jellyfish and chewed yeah. it up and then spit it into spit your Spit it into oh, my wow. mouth. Wow. That was one of the most visceral things we've ever done. Right, right in this area. Yeah, I got on a chair and everything. Yeah, that was nice. What part of the jellyfish? Uh, was it the stingers? Were you getting? No, it was just. Yeah, a, it was a live jellyfish. It was just the stingers. Were it was the jelly part? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. They just put some jellyfish on a plate and said, "This is you're supposed to eat this." That's how it works. <laughs> right. So, but I felt no stinging. It was so that was not part of it. It was just the visceral nature of something coming out of your mouth. I mean, it was easy for me. So it was this is so really, bad. This is, I think really, I mean. I gagged watching you gag. We did, yes, you did. I but between the two of us right I'll now. I'll just go ahead and take this now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because if somebody, I mean, did somebody pass the Black Widow from their mouth to your that, mouth? That did not happen. Well, let's see how I can contribute to this conversation. Oh, well. This was a big moment for me. Ooh. Uh, but in comparison, mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean. Yeah. Just to, I'm, I'm sure you've done something similar. Yeah. This is just basically taking the entire yep. Carolina Reaper and just eating it straight up. Yep, I did that very recently. 10 minutes, 10 Ooh. minutes, no drinking or eating of anything. Ooh, 10 minutes, no drinking or eating of anything. That's, uh, that's impressive. It's, it's between you, I mean, this is the only thing that could have been gone so sideways. Yeah, you know? I mean. It, it, it can't just be about it being deadly. It's, it's well, gotta be visceral. If there is, a most impressive criteria. I'm thinking life threatening is it. So I'll take this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fine with that. All right. I'm fine with that. I'm going first. I have to be fine with that too. Swimming in hot sauce. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's very cool. Lip service from Steve O. Yeah. Uh, man. yeah you, hey, Whatever. You, you had a really bad rash though. I really did. <laughs> you, like, I mean, it was, a, it was a gnarly rash. Did you, did you get submerged? Uh, it was more like a dumping, and then it kind of went over me into a baby pool that I was sitting in. So no, I wasn't submerged, but everywhere that it was left like a, it it looked like a map of heat. Yeah, but it, it's a heat map. Uh, okay. But yeah, go, just play your cards. <laughs> and, um, can, can I ask, was your pee pee hole the, Primary source of pain. <laughs> he was wearing a condom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, were you? I, I don't. That, 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 I am, that, 
I'm always wearing a condom. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. You, 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 you got to be ready for anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Jimmy Hatted up right now. <laughs> 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 Anytime I can say Jimmy Hat, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, say uh, it whenever you want. I mean, dude, that's like remarkable forethought. If you had a condom on before, <laughs> yeah, I might have had earplugs in, but no, my pee pee hole, as you say, uh, was um, was clothed and closed. Wow. Okay. You had it. So it sounds clenched. like he... I had it clenched. So it, it was so tight. It was tight lipped. So it sounds like you took a potential winner and just. Decimated it with wisdom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So yeah. I got it. Let's see what you guys. <laughs> Porta potty slingshot. Oh gosh. So you, yeah. okay, uh, I saw this. How far do you think you traveled? You were in there. Um, I mean, those cranes were at least a hundred feet. <laughs> I'd say. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm guessing a good ten stories. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What was in what was in the the, the potty? Well, this is fascinating. There's this uh, regulatory thing called OSHA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Heard of it? It's AKA like, uh, the enemy. They're always ruining the fun. Right. It's, uh, the, the no fun police. So OSHA says that you're not allowed to cover yourself in human feces. <laughs> However, Why do they care? At the, at, at, while at work. Right. <laughs> and, uh, on your own time. <laughs> right. Ha however, they have no issue with covering yourself in dog feces. Ah, so, yes. In fact, it can be fun. Yeah. So they, the, the, the Jackass production team actually found a company which will sell you as much dog poop as you care to purchase. And even better than that, the name of said company is We Do Do Do. <laughs> I don't know if We Do 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 is still in business, but <laughs> they do certainly do. were when we were filming Jackass <laughs> okay, 3D. Well, we Do Do Do. <laughs> Risky on several levels. Oh, speaking of dog poop, Dog poop in face. Wow, dude, okay. our shuffling was just sanctioned by the universe. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there's a few things to clarify about this. The dog food, dog poop was in a bag and it oh. was on a long pendulum that was supposed to come right, right to my nose and not hit me and see if I would flinch, but he rigged it where it just sort of hit me in the face. But it was almost like the dog poop was in its own condom, we might say. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't even have to be wearing one. You, you've clearly won this round, yeah. but tell me more. <laughs> so, okay, so before what, is, what was the main thing you were concentrating on? Keeping your like mouth closed? Because when you're being rocketed through space in a dog right. crap porta john, there's so much that can be running through your mind. Right. I have a very irrational fear of roller coasters, bungee jumping, skydiving. I just don't like it. So that okay. was my concern. I I was scared of just the actual bungee factor. Now, with a mind for trying not to get hepatitis, <laughs> I went into this with uh, swimming goggles, a nose plug, yeah. ear plugs. And, you, and your mouth was? Wide open the whole time. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was screaming my head off from start to finish. And, and everybody was giddy after this happened. So we raced to this laptop computer to review the footage on the GoPro, which had been inside the porta potty. And you're coded. Yeah. Upon playing back the footage, Knoxville says to me, well, shoot, Steve-O. If your mouth wasn't so wide open, that poo might have hit you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, okay, right. you take that round. <laughs> you take that round. All right, I'll start this one. Uh, okay, yeah. I did a little slip and slide on a slip and slide that was uh, covered with fish parts and guts. Fish guts. You were also there for that. It was very hot that day. Yeah. I'll help you out. Mm -hmm. Um so they were like raw but baking fish guts. It 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 was rancid. It was it was nasty. I wasn't wearing a condom. No, you weren't. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um anus fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. okay. What, what's so funny is and it looks like it's going in yeah. the anus. 
Yeah, this card seems to demonstrate a firework headed in, which would absolutely make me the winner if that was the case. <laughs> so, so it was actually going in. The, it was. It was. Me, pla- it was planted. It was, and, yeah. and then you let it. Right. What, what What was amazing about it was that we had this large bottle rocket in my butt, and it was tied to my buddy's wiener. <laughs> <laughs> This is why I love it, man. (laughs) This is why I love it. Yeah. This is why I watch. (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna I'm gonna say that if you have a chance of winning any round, this would be it. (laughs) Yeah, I I feel like I have a chance. Boa constrictor tank. Uh, This is when I was named the Serpent King. I was so afraid that um, the crew had to come up with an impromptu chant. You can do it, Serpent King. I believe. And what were you trying to do? Because your head was in the tank. With my it. my head my head was in a tank, and <laughs> there was a snake in the tank. <laughs> I mean, that was it. That's all that happened. If, yeah, yeah. If if the idea of this game is to try to like make a case for winning, you're doing a bad job. <laughs> <at this game. laughs> so my head was in a tank. Let me try harder. With a snake. All right. So there there was a snake that could have just it could have squeezed my head off my neck. Oh yeah. And I had nowhere to go. Oh. Ex- uh, is that any better? <laughs> you know, I feel like you should get a participation award. No, don't do it. <laughs> do not, I will not take it. No. <laughs> Give it to him. No, I, I don't want it. I don't want it. Okay, final I don't want round. your pity. <laughs> hey, here's the thing though, if, here's the thing. <laughs> Your Asibu automatically wins if you give him that round. We yeah. can make it interesting. Yeah, make it interesting. All right. Make it interesting. Dead heat. I'll take the pity. Okay. Pity <laughs> round. Oh, here we everything go. Everything that Rhett, well, not everything you did. A couple of things you did, I also did. I'm just saying. Including this one. We combine chlorine and brake fluid, wow. which is. Uh, it's kind of like Pepsi and Mentos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but worse, and there's more fire. Nice. Yeah, you're supposed to, you, you combine these, they have like a reaction, you put them in a, a bottle, the whole I, idea is I feel is like that, the episode is called Weird Ways to Start a Fire, but we yeah. didn't know the fire would be that big. It started a fire, and it made an explosion, and then multiple things around us also caught on fire. So far, so good, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, one time I was um, in my living room, I laid down in a bed of rocket engine fuel. <laughs> my buddies lit it. And I ended up with third degree burns on 15% of my body, which required skin graft surgery. And I got skin grafts from uh, the, the flesh of seven different dead people. Yeah. Did I, you get to choose? See right, see right here, that little, uh, that little piece right there? That's where the dead person became part of me. But hey man, if that's not on my card, I don't have my card anymore. <laughs> Oh, beard of bees, man! One thousand bees 10, on my ten thousand bees. Ten thousand. That's even better. <laughs> See, I undersell it. The universe is smiling on our game again because bees on penis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, no Steve. Way. <laughs> no, uh, hold on. I just I want to look at I want to look at what was illustrated though. It was an eggplant. Okay, there's the okay. eggplant. So you're telling me, uh, was there was there uh, ten thousand bees on your? They did your exactly airplane? the same thing. They took the queen, just like we did, but they put it, you know. Yeah. The sun. This was my shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm still intrigued by the chlorine and uh, brake fluid. Here's here's the thing. It's like I don't feel like I actually did this. I feel like this was done to me. Yeah, and I also feel like in this one. You were the wuss who was afraid of bees. I am afraid so of, bees. of bees. I was still afraid of bees. He, he I would a, not do that. He wouldn't have had one on him. That's true. How many times did you get stung? Once. Uh, once. Um, well, then. How yeah, many times did you get stung? At least a dozen. <laughs> on, the, on the pee-pee? Uh, yeah, the gooch, the balls, the, the whole program. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's nice. How, how were the bees removed? Because uh, mine were removed with a, with a leaf blower in dramatic fashion. Oh. Uh, I ran. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. okay Congratulations. Let's, let's count them up. I got three pity points. I got three legitimate points. 
And I have uh, ran away with it. <laughs> Five points. All right, bring it in. Uh, you are officially being given the Royal Flush Crown. Wow. Congratulations, How Steve-o. about that? I'll tell you, this is such a surprise. I did not know it <laughs> would go this way. All right, and thanks to steve for being here today, being done with us. Go check out his brutally honest and hilarious new book, A Hard Kick in the Nuts, What I've Learned from a Lifetime of Terrible Decisions, available now. And go to steveo.com to find out when his bucket list tour is coming to your town. We're going to come to your show Dude, if you'll have us. I would love that. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Now you say you know what time it is. You know what time it is. <laughs> I'm Justin. I'm from Maryland. I made this GMM playing card. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. What? That kid knows real magic. And how to chew gum. Click the top link to watch us play Would You Rather Jackass Edition in Good Mythical Boy. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Color your little adult heart out with the Mythical Coloring Book, available now at mythical.com.